great, 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 fine. Hi, everyone. Sorry for being late. Uh, was debugging, I was uh, preparing um, an update to Hornet Samp that should be out next day. So I ran into a hard bug with Qubit. So I was uh, working hard. And, um, but we are here now and we are going to talk about uh, HA2A. Uh, you know the plugin, I think, since you are here. Hey, everyone. Uh, we are, I think, ready enough so we can start without further waiting. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, the plugin and uh, how it's meant to be used and also some tricks that you can do with that because uh, we just uh, we, we haven't just made an, an LA 2 way emulation. We tried to add some feature that uh, brings that kind of emulation into a modern workflow so that you can work faster and um, get faster results for the standard compressor. So probably many of you already know that we have uh, an opto model in the Multicom Plus and Key 2 and the old Multicom. Uh, but uh, this model is uh, not completely new, but is the old model tweaked and adjust so that it works like a hardware unit. We had the chance to measure and uh, <clears throat> to model correctly. So uh, this is actually the hardware unit uh, that uh, we had our hands on, uh, completely modeled and uh, and uh, exactly uh, almost the same. So these is uh, uh, a clone of uh, an LA2A, it's a stereo clone and uh, it's modern one so uh, you get um, a slightly a slightly faster response than uh, the the vintage ones because uh, uh, it's modern and it's brand new uh, it has a few years of uh, of working operation so it doesn't has the the the, the it, decay of the response time of the cell of the opto cell that you find in vintage unit since tony dawkins asks uh, if this uh, uh, this is an opto or fat compressor type well he, for those who don't know the lh way it's uh, a standard old compressor that has been designed uh, in the 60s i think or late 50s and uh, it's a uh, um, two tube circuit coupled with um, an, an opto uh, an opto uh, cell let's say it's an opto cell because uh, it's actually uh, two different uh, electronic parts glued together it's uh, um, an opto resistor and an electroluminescent panel that lights up the more current flows into it those in in uh, in chain in um, Consequently, it reduces the resistance of the opto, opto resistor, so it changes uh, the gain of the um, tube amplifier that follows it. So this uh, creates the gain reduction unit, and uh, it's a uh, half feedback design <clears throat> because uh, because it's an half feedback design because. Uh, um, the, the, the way the circuit is cabled is it's quite weird. So uh, the what the 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 gain the gain changes uh, at the opto resistor also reflects into the amplifier that drives the side chain. So it works like a feedback design while not being really a feedback design because the um, the, the the side chain signal is not taken at the output of the compressor. But it's taken right after the um, the opto resistor, so <clears throat> the change in resistance and in gain before the amplifier uh, also affect the side chain. 
this is a little bit complicated maybe, but I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. Uh, the attack, the attack is quite slow and is also program dependent. That means that if you, the first time the panel is, uh, is off, it takes a little bit of time to light up. So the first time the attack is lower, then when the panel, the electroluminescent machine panel is already light up, it takes less time to reach the highest uh, luminescent level, let's say. So the attack becomes faster. Um, if you, so this is a completely program dependent. And the same goes for the release because uh, uh, the release time, uh, it, <clears throat> It takes, uh, um, I go by memory, um, a certain amount of time, I don't remember exactly, to go to 15%, 50% of the, of the level of the light. Then from 50% and on, it takes much longer to go completely dark. <clears throat> so you actually have a two-stage release time that is completely... Uh, dependent on the level of the signal that has been hitting the, the, the electroluminescent panel. So it's a, a pretty strange beast to, to work with. <clears throat> and uh, we modeled all this behavior, of course, and uh, we also modeled the electronics that goes around uh, these, uh, these octocouples. So we have the input transformer. Then in the circuit, we have this gain reduction element. And then we have the split for the side chain that is a, a tube amplifier uh, that drives the, uh, the, the light in the electroluminescent panel. And, <clears throat> and uh, uh, then after this gain reduction unit, we have another tube amplifier and an output transformer. So it's a uh, tube gear and you have tube distortion, you have uh, uh, um, transformer distortion, you have a lot of uh, these non-linearities going on. Uh, Tony asks uh, if uh, it adds much color to the sound or it's fairly transparent. Well, <clears throat> The compression itself, it's fairly transparent. So it's not obvious. Um, you, it's hard to make it pump because since it's a feed, it's feedback design and you uh, also have this attack and release that goes together with the levels that uh, the, the octocouple has in, on its input. Um, you, uh, it's very hard to make it not noticeable and pump. It takes a lot of, uh, it can take a lot of gain reduction without sounding obvious. What it's not transparent and color at all, uh, completely, um, it's the, <clears throat> the circuit around that. So uh, you have all these non-linearities that we modeled. And of course you can disable that um, with the analog button. So um, it's a funny thing to work with. It's, uh, it's something that usually sounds good on almost everything, but uh, uh, is not something that you can use on everything because it works best on the uh, slow changing signals. So it works wonders with vocals. It's a pretty standard compressor with vocals. Works, works best with, uh, with bass. <clears throat> and uh, uh, it works well since this is a stereo unit. It works well on the master bus, and uh, I'm going to show you. It also works works uh, fine with drums bus when you uh, make it use it to make a parallel compression. So I'm going to show you uh, also that. And uh, for this reason, we added a lot of controls like the dry wet controls and uh, the source control. It can work in stereo, dual mono, uh, mid or side. <clears throat> So, um, so it's, uh, it, it works um, on different kinds of sources. Um, let me see your question so I can answer. 
um, Ian, Ian, I think it's called it's the right way to call your name. Ian, <clears throat> how was the oversampling handled again? Um, it's uh, the standard oversampling we have. So we define internally uh, um, bandwidth that the compressor, the, the, the DSP has to work with. And also in this case is 192 kilohertz. So uh, if your sample rate is lower than that, internally, we oversample until we reach 192 kilohertz. And this is because uh, we have, um, it's not because of the compressor itself, because it's being pretty slow. You don't have a uh, big aliasing like you can have with an 1176 emulation, uh, which is very fast. Um, but you have a lot of harmonics from the analog emulation. So working with at least 192 kilohertz guarantees that the aliasing is kept low and you can also drive uh, the plugging quite hard uh, without getting bad distortion. Uh, how faithful is to the original, I ask uh, uh, Roy. <clears throat> the demo seem, seem very aggressive. Well, it's a modern, it's modern uh, LH way. It's not uh, a vintage one, the one, the unit we modeled. So it's faster and the knee of the, of the compression, it's harder. Uh, if you compare our emulation with uh, a vintage one, um, you probably will see that our compressor, uh, it's more noticeable because what, what happens, these uh, optocouple uh, tends to lose efficiency with time um, because uh, the, the electroluminescent panel tends to uh, light less uh, for if you uh, if it has been uh, been in work in work for a long time working for a long time um, the capacity of the panel to emit light reduce um, so uh, we slowly over time it emits more less light and <clears throat> it's less able to change the resistance of the opto resistor. The same goes for the opto resistor because um, as time goes by, the capacity to reduce the resistance is less. So you have a less pronounced um, ratio in the uh, in older units, uh, a softer knee, and also you get uh, um, a slower attack usually. Um, I I thought about modeling this behavior too, but since I haven't had the chance to put my hands on an older unit, I was not sure about uh, how far I could push that. So how realistic would have been to uh, reduce the knee and uh, the sorry the ratio and uh, the attack speed and getting a realistic emulation. So uh, I. I stick with the uh, with the unit I have, and uh, since it's a modern one, it's a new one. Uh, I get a faster, faster, slightly faster attack, and a more pronounced ratio. Uh, that's why you can hear it uh, uh, like it's uh, more aggressive than the other emulations. <clears throat> Tony asks, uh, why would you use this over something like Honor Multicomp, which I really like? Well, this is, uh, um, it has a little bit, uh, some different feature and the circuit is uh, closer to the original unit. The opto compressor you find in Multicomp is not an LA2 way. It's uh, a general opto compressor. We haven't modeled uh, a specific uh, unit, but we um, tried to model the behavior of the attack and release. Uh, and the, of the opto couple, and um, this time we model a specific unit, so we have uh, um, a, we can call it an LH way. That's the uh, the only reason, and also because here you have mid side and dual mono operation, which you don't have on uh, a multicom plus. <coughs> Um, yes, Tony, uh, H8-way has the auto-leveling, so 
uh, I think you mean the auto gain reduction setting. And uh, uh, we also have the option to have, uh, um, we also have the option to have uh, um, make up gain compensation, uh, which can be disabled, it's on by default. So you almost have the same gain uh, that you have uh, uh, before the compression uh, happens. But <clears throat> I'll show you the plugin in action and you will see the kind of automation you, you have. We prepared uh, um, some presets that all works with all auto mode. So just selecting a preset and waiting a little bit can set the compressor for the right source, uh, uh, just, just choosing the preset. So it's, uh, it's very fast in operation. That's what we want from our plugins. And uh, mm, we have an update coming <clears throat> that I show you as a preview that will allow you to control every instance of the plugin from just one interface so if you have uh, many HA to A all over your session, you don't you don't need to go uh, and find the track where the plugin is uh, in the DAW. Uh, just open one and select from the drop down the instance you want to edit. Uh, yeah, Tony, Tony, exactly. Um, uh, Tony asks if um, the HA to A would work in any situation where a recurrent use the opto model in multicom. Yes, it's a direct replacement. Uh, it's a slightly different sounding uh, compressor. Um, I, let's say it's uh, a little bit more gentle and a little bit more raw in the, in the meaning that uh, the analog emulation on this compressor uh, adds a little bit more saturation uh, than the one uh, in multi-comp. Um, and uh, this unit can also use, be used uh, just as a tube saturation. I want to show you that too. <clears throat> so you also get a saturator with uh, this compressor, let's say. Uh, Eric asks, what is the minimum processor speed that, that works your VST? Well, I honestly haven't tried on uh, lower end uh, hardware. Um, the, the hardware where I develop on is not high-end at all because I don't want to have a, a high-end hardware that um, may, uh, may make me think that the plugin is light while it's not. Um, I can say, I can say, I, would sh I will uh, show you that on my uh, i7 uh, Intel CPU, it uh, uses uh, in Reaper, Reaper reports that it uses uh, 1.6% CPU, so it's quite light, also with the analog emulation engaged. Uh, yeah, uh, Iam, I, I understand what you say, and I wanted to implement that, but I haven't had the chance to um, measure an older unit. What, I, what I'm telling you is what, I, what I've read uh, from uh, sources online regarding the aging of the optocouple. Um, so I haven't, I haven't been able to, to measure that behavior in first person. So I cannot, uh, design, uh, an aging knob if I don't have a reference of, uh, how much that aging, uh, um, impact on the, on the performance of the, of the octocouple. So I would need, uh, <laughs> yes, we need to wait so that unit ages. Uh, the <clears throat> the faster would be to get an an old unit from the seventies or from the sixties. But I don't know if I can find one uh, here around. Uh, I have found I have found uh, a couple of eleven seventy six from the seventies. So. The next project would be to model that those units and see what happens. But uh, I I don't know if I'd be able to find an A to A that old um, here, unless someone who is uh, listening to this uh, can provide uh, the measurement for that unit. So. So uh, okay, I think I've explained. Uh, enough uh, um, 
Okay, Chris asks, with the auto peak reduction target, does the work similar to gain reduction limit? Not really, not really. Um, it's uh, like uh, saying to the compressor, I want uh, you to have a gain reduction of this amount. So I don't care about the threshold or anything else. I just want uh, that gain reduction in my audio. Uh, and the compressor will set itself so you get that amount of gain reduction. Um, so I'm going to show you. Let me share the screen so I can show you my session. Okay, sharing the screen. This is Reaper with the HA2A on an older session of mine where I was using a channel strip on almost everything and I am replacing uh, um, I'm replacing that with the um, I'm replacing uh, I mean the the compressor where it makes sense with the um, HA2A way to make you hear the difference. Now I want to share computer sounds. I need to set the audio output for the Zoom audio device. <clears throat> so let me see if I can hear something. Okay, I can, but it's definitely not working fine. So I need to freeze some tracks. Sorry for that. Let me. Let me freeze a couple of buses over here. So, um, so I can work uh, better. <clears throat> Well, it takes a while. I, I, didn't, I didn't know Zoom used all those resources on my machine. So that's funny. Um, let me also check. I can't right now. The buffer size, because maybe I have a short buffer size. <clears throat> okay, Eric asks, how would you say your morning stack up to the hardware LH way? Well, we tried to model that um, after having run uh, sign sweeps in the, in the original hardware. So uh, we say that uh, our tube emulation works at circuit level. So we have uh, the emulation of the electronics that goes inside the tube, and it's very faithful to how a tube works. And uh, we also try to model the um, uh, transformer's behavior uh, without uh, disassembling the unit. So <clears throat> seeing uh, uh, how uh, the, the, the um, sine sweeps uh, change in saturation at different frequencies, because what a transformer does is uh, to saturate faster at certain frequencies than the other, uh, because being an electromagnetic uh, uh, device uh, it has some resonance inside and where at that frequent that resonant frequency that also happens to be all usually happens to be on the low frequency range it saturates faster that's why um usually you associate uh, um warmer and heavier sound with transformer gear because uh, you get uh, harmonics in the low end of your spectrum uh, from 100, 200 hertz and up and up. And it gives weight to the low, the low part of your sound. <clears throat> so, uh, so um, I'm pretty happy with the, with the analog emulation, really. Pak, uh, Pak, uh, is, your, is that your name, the way to say your name? Uh, with this feature, does that mean I don't need to use VU meter MK4? Well, uh, you 
don't have and you have. It depends on the on the what you do with your track, how many emulation you use. <clears throat> uh, HHA has the same algorithm in the input stage. I'm uh, highlighting with a, with my mouse pointer right now. This is the input, and you have um, the auto gain algorithm in that. So uh, it makes uh, perfect sense to use uh, the built-in. Uh, but it's more designed uh, in a way that uh, um, to be more meant to be used as a uh, driving uh, uh, the driving gain to the input transformer. Uh, let's say you want uh, to drive the transformer with a hotter level, you can uh, automatically say I want uh, uh, T2 VU, 3 VU. This, is, this goes up up to 6 VU instead of the regular 3 uh, because uh, you can you may want to have a hotter signal to drive the input transformer so <clears throat> it's uh, it makes sense in a, use it to use it in another situation another way that you would usually do with the VU meter um um <clears throat> uh, yeah, also it's also the transformer saturate a little bit in the highs, but it's more important the the saturation in the in the bottom end of the spectrum is definitely more important because the, where this is where it resides the resonance frequency. Um, let me see if freezing uh, the keys track made some difference. Almost. Let me also freeze the guitars so. We also have more, we have even more CPU. The plugin, if uh, I don't know if this is a development version, honestly, but the plugin should be pretty light. Um, I haven't checked because uh, I'm, of course, I have different version of the plugin on this system because this is where I develop uh, plugins on. And while it renders, I'll explain you the interface. You have load and save presets over here. Uh, we have uh, uh, made 10 different presets for you to load. And uh, I show you that this is a, um, this is a very uh, handy way to get to your sound very fast. Then we have the limit compress switch. It changes the behavior from compress to limit, like in the original unit. Uh, I have to say that this is not a big difference in sound. Uh, what, what happens that if you uh, choose compress, the, the circuit behaves like a feedback compressor because uh, uh, all the um, signal that drives uh, the the gain reduction circuit uh, is after the uh, the um, opto units. Uh, while if you choose limit, a little bit of the signal comes before the opto units, so it, it works like an halfway compressor between a feedback and a feed forward compressor, and uh, this uh, gives a little bit more. Um, ratio and it uh, makes the, the the sound a little bit more aggressive, uh, but not it's not something dramatically different. So you have to experiment what works best. Um, then we have the gain knob that is actually the output gate knob because this this knob is after the gain reduction of to couple. So with this with this knob you tweak the output of the uh, tube amplifier that follows the gain reduction unit. Mm, this is very handy because uh, if, you, um, if you want, you, you can use this unit to, uh, as a saturator because if you turn bypass on, you are actually bypassing the gain reduction circuit, but this is still engaged if you have analog turned on. So increasing the gain with the output gain, you get more distortion, more saturation. The same goes for the input and output transformer emulations, of course, if analog is on. And you can drive them with the input gain, and uh, uh, which is 
which can be linked to the output gain to maintain uh, a, a flat gain structure. So you don't have to tweak the output gain while uh, tweaking the input and so on. This is another day of those features that makes you work faster. And we also added uh, a dry and wet control. These are separate because uh, um, you may want to feedback some dry wet, say dry signal in the wet signal while not reducing that it goes, it adds more flexibility than a simple dry wet knob that uh, goes all dry, all wet, or something in between. Uh, Eric, are you asking generally how do you approach CPU parallelism and what points? Well, um, design uh, designing plugins doesn't really involve CPU parallelism, parallelism because it's not something that you can easily make work in parallel because you receive a, a bunch of samples from the dough and then you have to process that buffer sample and give it back to the dough so usually it's something that you cannot split in uh, in parallel unless you have a stereo unit and uh, there is no really the need to create two different threads and um, put it onto different cores or cpu Really, um, it's better to work with um, with vector instruction units. So, uh, so you can use two float to uh, two uh, sorry two doubles together um, and uh, make the plugin look to the CPU like it's a mono unit. Um, it's uh, multi-threading. It's something that the does the DAW does, not the plugin. Um, I did it just once in Master Tool because uh, uh, it takes time to analyze uh, the the audio. So creating a, a new thread uh, avoided the the old dough to freeze while uh, Master Tool is analyzing audio. But it's not something that you usually do in a plugin. So let me see if the if now we can we can do that. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi? In alcuni siamo uguali. Fine, it works now. So, um, let you hear the raw vocals without uh, just just with an um, equalizer on it. And uh, we have a tape processing, we have uh, analog stage in the input that you see the chain, uh, the vocal chain. This is the track we are hearing. We have analog stage, uh, we have the old view meter. This is an old session of mine. Um, we have channel strip that provides only the equalizer. Then we have our HH way for the compressor. So uh, this is how the vocal sound. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi? In alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi. In alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come. Okay, uh, have you been able to hear it uh, fine? Because the difference is are quite subtle so of course uh, apart from the compression uh, to hear the character of the compressor you have to listen uh, with the headphones or right set of speakers so uh, i'm going to turn this on and choose the all auto normal compressor normal compression so what uh, we are doing now this preset the first one sets the mode to compress enables auto makeup. Uh, the, the gain is uh, at uh, unity, the output gain, so we don't have um, an output gain uh, change. It works in stereo, stereo mode by default. That means that you, if you provide um, two different tracks, the side chain is the sum of those tracks. While uh, if I select dual mono, and I provide a stereo track with two different inputs. Uh, the side each each one has a separate side chain, so it, it works like they actually are were two different compressor together. Uh, mid side works only on the mid component, and side works only on the side component, leaving the other one intact. Then we have set 
uh, the auto peak reduction, saying that we want a target of a negative 6 dBs. So we want a gain reduction of 6 dB. Also, we want to hit the compressor, the compressor, the input at uh, zero VU, and uh, we want to, uh, the gain input and output linked. So if I press play now, the compressor will set itself both as an both both for the input level and for the gain reduction without any intervention intervention on my side. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. Ci... Ok. So while the audio was uh, not working really fine, but uh, it, we were able anyway to set the input gain so that the maximum level is at zero VU. Of course, the output gain have been uh, adjusted accordingly to maintain a zero uh, level, a zero, zero dB changes from the input and the output. And also the peak reduction knob set itself uh, so that uh, we get a uh, negative 60B of gain reduction. And if we hear, if you listen now, it should work without uh, crackling. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. Ci pensi mai a molteplici... Ok, let me check if I can do something for the buffer size to see if... Uh... can make it work better. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo... No, it's worse. Okay, uh, I don't know how to fix that. Um... <clears throat> uh, maybe I should freeze some other tracks. I don't know, uh, but I already froze almost everything. Um, I think... Okay, we are using 3% CPU. That's a little bit more than what I was seeing in uh, my last test. Probably this is not a uh, final version, but anyway. Um, let me see if muting some other tracks makes things better. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi? In alcuni yeah, siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo. So if, now I'm going to disable the plugin to let you see the that you hear the differences. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. So have you been able to hear how just uh, turning on and off the plugin gives the vocal more weight and makes it a little bit more stereo because one of the characteristic of uh, this time kind of compression is to open up the sound uh, uh, because the side chain is not linear. Uh, you don't have the same uh, attack and release and the same uh, um, ratio at all the frequencies. Um, as uh, let's say that as uh, it, you get as the frequencies uh, get higher, um, you get a little bit more compression up until a certain point uh, where after eight kilohertz, if uh, uh, I'm not mistaken, um, the filter starts to roll off again and you get uh, less compression. So it's like uh, having uh, um, uh, oddly 
uh, bell-shaped filter on the side chain that compress more in the, um, in the range where the presence is uh, from uh, um, 500 hertz up until eight kilohertz, something like that. It, it starts to compress more. And then it drastically uh, uh, changes, the filter changes, and the compression is much less after eight kilohertz. So you get uh, the, the air from, uh, from the vocal. Uh, while compressing the part that are usually uh, more um, uh, associated with the uh, with honky sound and with the, um, the 4K part, I don't know how to say that. <clears throat> well, it's not, Eric, it's not a multiband compression. It's like having a strange filter on the side chain that uh, makes it compress more at certain frequencies. Um, so uh, it, it's like filtering the side chain. Uh, Tony asks if it does mounting a track from up the CPU. Yes, yes, of course. If you mute the CP the, the track in Reaper, you if you mute that, uh, uh, the um, processing is stopped on the on those plugins. So you free up CPU. Um, then what to say, what to say, what to say, what to say. Um, if I by, use the bypass on the plugin, I leave the analog emulation on and only disable the compression. The compression. So ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. Come... So we only have the analog emulation, and if I want to uh, make it more, more obvious. I can drive it. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. And uh, also, if I want to create a saturator, ci pensi mai a molteplici universi? In alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Now we got auto muted because uh, the level was too high. Let me turn it down. In alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci is... che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, the... come lessi, come lessi. This is the tube distortion from the output gain, and uh, you can use uh, plugin to get that too, if you want. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. So, for example, now I got a lot of distortion in the, in the audio and a lot of compression, so I can use that as an effect. Uh, just I wanted to, of course, when you do this, you have to do it manually. You cannot rely on auto or auto anything. Uh, but for example, if I wanted uh, to have a nice vocal just using the preset or auto vocal slam, and uh, I just uh, have to enable this, I just press play. 
ci pensi mai a molteplici universi In alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi In alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi Stessi, 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 stessi Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi Ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi Come lessi, come lessi, come lessi Ci pensi mai Now, if I uh, let you hear before and after, the effect is very obvious. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come... So, uh, this is a pretty good compression for vocals, in my opinion, and that's why I made this preset. And um, so, uh, let, let me see the questions. Uh, Tony asks, when I use multi, multi comp, I usually select auto input and auto output and auto target on the default. Uh, I would duplicate this, this procedure in H8 way. Uh, just select the all auto normal compression preset and goes exactly on that way. Uh, you have, um, I don't know why it didn't change the, 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 the settings, but anyway, just set uh, auto, auto input here, set to zero view, then link input and output, then set the auto peak reduction and uh, with the target and never negative six and just she press press press. Press. it will adjust itself okay i need to roll this back ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni just, siamo uguali, in alcuni we'll siamo troppo itself. diversi, in so alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci capisci uh, che maybe, porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi. Has noticed that the needle here doesn't reach the target. That's because this needle uh, it's also this needle is emulated. And this needle, it's uh, a view meter in the original unit. So it has uh, a 300 milliseconds, uh, th sorry, a three, uh, uh, 300 milliseconds uh, integration time, both for the attack and the release time. This means that uh, uh, on fast, uh, on fast uh, action, fast uh, uh, transients, it never goes fast enough to reach the real gain reduction that is happening inside the compressor. Uh, but this target uh, sets that real gain reduction. So if you look at the needle, keep in mind that if you are compressing negative three uh, dB, if you have a three dB of gain reduction, uh, on faster, on very fast sound, on transient, on S, on Ps in vocals, you probably are compressing up to 10 dB. So keep that in mind uh, while using uh, these manually, because the real compression is uh, always uh, much more than what the needle show. Um, then Randy asked uh, uh, for the sweet spot of a gain reduction. Well, um, usually this thing can be driven very hard. Um, I, I, personally like when it goes when it, when it goes stays around here between uh, three and ten uh, it's it's where it's where I like it most uh, because this is not something that you can really push down to negative 20 um, like you do with an 1176 to get a strange effect uh, you see it's it's a slow so you simply get an overall level reduction because uh, the the optocouple never has the time to recover uh, from the compression. So if the needle bounces around here, you only have you only have overall level reduction. Um, 
for the vocals, I like to go up to negative 10, so something like Ci this. pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come lessi, come lessi, come lessi, come lessi. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso. So it definitely gives more presence and more, more pleasant sound while uh, being transparent. You don't, you don't hear... Um... You don't hear uh, the obvious compression effect. Uh, you hear more clearly the vocals. You, it gives more weight. Uh, also for vocals, I love to drive the input a little bit more than this, uh, because I think it's it adding some harmonics uh, gives something more to the vocals. You can drive it very hard. Uh, depends, of course, on the level of your vocals. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi? In alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo le ume. So it should be fine now. Let me hear. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi? In alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come l'essi, so come l'essi. Very nice, in my opinion. Um, but vocals is not the only, uh, the only kind of source where a plugin like this works best. Uh, you can use it on the bass, and also on the bass is very nice. Let me find the track. I am disabling now the, okay, these dynamics are already disabled. I have Multicom Plus to take care of dynamics, disable that, and add the HH way. And uh, this is how it can work on the bus. This is just with the unit on. Now for the bus, I would use a normal compression, not that hard, with a warmer sound. So uh, this is uh, a 6 dB of gain reduction uh, with uh, 6 VU in input. So we gave uh, 7 dBs of gain. And uh, uh, let's see, it. let's compare before and after. Also, we can try the limit on the bus. The limit should work fine. I think we can also make it compress more. Let me see what happens. Great. 
okay, this is, have you heard that it's pretty transparent on the bus too? It gives a little bit more body. It um, creates more attack from the sound of the bus, uh, but it's pretty transparent. It's not something uh, that um, you can do with a uh, 1176 kind of compression, for example, or VCA uh, on the bus. If you want uh, a, a transparent bus sound, a natural bus sound, uh, a compressor like this is what you have to use. And uh, honestly, I would not use it on this track uh, because uh, uh, I prefer to have a more obvious compression effect like the 1176. Uh, but uh, uh, this may work if the track is a, a softer ballad, for example, and you don't want an aggressive sound. Uh, so Randy asks, in the case of bass, if I sp separate neck and body, uh, is better on the body? Yeah, yes, I think, uh, but uh, um, how do you how do you do that? How do you separate the, the, the neck and the body? You, I, I usually record the, the electric bus using a, a DI, and then if needed, uh, I can use a, a, a microphone on the, on the amplifier, but usually don't do that because um, for modern, uh, modern rock, modern pop, the modern sound is more focused. So, um, uh, so so the, 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 the amplifier usually carries with him all the room resonance and it becomes a little bit more a little bit less focused. Um 11-6 in front of an L8A28, very good combo. Yes, it is, and uh, usually it's used on vocals, and that's what I usually do when I when I mix with the with the multicom plus. Okay, I, I, uh, Randy, I didn't know that. I didn't know that trick. You for the electric bus, you mic uh, the you you mic the the neck. Uh, it's not an acoustic bus. It's for the electric one. Never try that. I will. Uh, I will try. I will try. You get. I think you get a lot of attack from there. Uh, Tony, yes, the eleven seventy six is is the fat compressor. And that's what we are going to uh, model uh, after this one, because uh, uh, these two are uh, usually used together. Um, so it's like uh, it's like something complete if you don't have both. Um, and uh, so the bass, uh, I I don't think we can say more about the bass because. You heard it's pretty stable in itself, so it gives a nice bass sound. Uh, but if I want, I can use this plugin also works fine on on a drum bass on drum stem. Like I have here, this is a, a all the drums mixed together. Yeah, a varimu, varimu, something that I never really approached, but uh, I need to understand the electronics, the how the electronics behind that work. Um, but maybe why not? I just need to find one, uh, and someone who is uh, so kind to let me measure the behavior. Uh, so why not? Why not? I never really used one, so. Uh, I don't know what to expect from that kind of circuit. Uh, so I, I need to look into that. But maybe, why not? Uh, I have a preset here that's called Drums Fattener because what it does is uh, uh, to use the dry and wet controls to put back some of the um, compressed on the dry sound together with the with a compressed sound to make the drums sound more present. Now, this is how the drums sound by themselves. Sorry. Okay, so 
Let's try to make the plugin auto set itself. Okay, so for this kind of effect, we wanted to slam quite a bit uh, the sound, uh, uh, the compressed sound, and uh, we aim for a 10 dB of gain reduction and uh, limit mode. And we also are hitting the compressor a little bit harder. And uh, if I now let you hear before and after, you will hear that the kick drum uh, becomes more present um, and the old drum set um, has uh, a little bit more of a um, hi-fi effect, uh, I would say. Uh, let's, let's listen to the sound without the compressor. And with it. So you, you hear, uh, it's like uh, the kick and snare comes out a little bit more, uh, but still being very natural. This is what this compressor is all about. It's uh, very transparent and uh, uh, it doesn't really get too much in the way of the sound, but uh, it controls it. So whenever you need to control a sound without being more obvious, very obvious, this is the right choice. And it also works well on the master bus. So let's now hope that everything works well when I simply select the music bus. Okay, turn everything off here because that's definitely too much stuff. And add the HA to A. So we now will aim for negative 3 dB, just a touch of gain reduction and a little bit of warmer sound. to not move but of course that's because the compression is very light um if i want to get a little bit more compression so the effect is more obvious let's see what happens Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come Lessi, come Lessi, come Lessi, come Lessi. Ci pensi mai a molteplici universi, in alcuni siamo uguali, in alcuni siamo troppo diversi, in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi, 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 stessi. Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come Lessi, oh, it's come Pretty, pretty nice. It's tightens up all the sound uh, in a nice way uh, and uh, gives a little bit more 
of uh, saturation and a little bit more of compact sound thanks to the light compression we're making. Um, so it's, I think it's a pretty good setting. Um, so this is, uh, this is it. Um, it's very uh, useful for this kind of, uh, of application. I use the dual mono here because I want to a wider stereo image. If you use dual mono, since you are using two different side chains, these are actually two different compressor sets at the same time, you get differences between left and right, and the stereo image gets wider. This is uh, an, an old trick to get a wider image. Um, uh, then uh, I want to show you, I want to show you the new version that will be out pretty soon. I only have it in the S3 mode here. So this is the new version that will be out pretty soon. And you see that we've added uh, the compensation for the output gain. So you can increase the gain uh, without increasing the volume. This is now can really work as a, a nice saturator. And you have this drop down here that uh, if I add, for example, I go back to my bus track and uh, I hit replace effects and I replace it with the, the ST3 version. Okay, so here. You see now that in the control track, I have the name. Yeah, Randy, uh, dual mono is the same of unlinked, exactly. It's the same, uh, it's the same thing with a, with a different name. Um, we have the name of, the, of, of our own track, the X021. But uh, and if I want, of course, I can set. Feature update we're making for free uh, to this plugin if you if if you own it, and I think it's a, a pretty good thing. Okay, the music is too high, too loud, too high. Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm lowering that. Uh, I I mean, uh, with this control over here, I can control every instance of the plugin without changing, without having to go to the to the mixer and select a new instance. Uh, and this feature will be free if you own the plugin once the update is out and will be out uh, very soon. Uh, so if you buy the plugin now, you will have uh, this feature, these new features for free once you well, once they are ready. Uh, so this makes it even more useful and it probably will be part of every new plugin we make because I think uh, it's a very convenient way to edit stuff. Um, without having to go to each instance. Imagine if this was your EQ, your EQ of choice and you have 10 different EQs, 12 different EQs. Uh, with this system, uh, it, it would be very faster to very fast to edit that. So uh, do you have uh, any question about the plugin? Uh, Randy, in a linked mode, we can only control right and left, not mid versus side. No, not, 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 because um, the for the because of the way uh, the the root, internal routing is designed. Uh, dual mono 
um, it's two different compressor that works uh, two different mono compressor that are uh, use the same settings while mid and side um, are just one mono compressor um, that is fed with the mid or side and the other the other part of the path because we have two compressors in here um, and uh, one part is uh, is left uh, uh, uncompressing and um, working without gain reduction uh, and the other one works on the mid or on the side mm. while in dual mono they work together and in stereo the side chain is simply linked so uh, so uh, you cannot use two different uh, level of compression from the mid for mid and side but what you can do if you want that is to use uh, distance two instances one after the other and one set in on the mid and uh, we can we can do that we can do that on the master let's set another instance we set we turn analog emulation off because otherwise we get too much uh, distortion we set the first instance the first instance on the master on the mid and the second one on the master on the side so now we can have two different gain reduction level on the mid and the side. Uh, Tony asks, does selecting the circle underneath the auto automatically set to the zero view? Well, yes, yes. Uh, if you select this button here, you enable the auto gain to this target. So if you want a higher level, just raise that. It goes from zero view to six view. Of course, you can also type that. Um, yes, Randy, just put them in chain one after the other, and then you can of compress a lot the side ci pensi mai a molteplici universi in alcuni esatto. siamo uguali in alcuni siamo troppo diversi in alcuni yeah, siamo so. solamente l'eco di noi stessi 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 appena nasci credi di essere un fuori classe il tipo Leo Messi ma appena cresci Go capisci che ti porterai sempre yeah, addosso make up. come Lessi come Lessi come Lessi come Lessi ci pensi mai a molteplici universi in alcuni siamo uguali in alcuni siamo troppo diversi in alcuni siamo solamente l'eco di noi stessi 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 Appena nasci, credi di essere un fuori classe tipo Leo Messi, ma appena cresci, capisci che porterai sempre l'osso come Lessi, come Lessi. Ok, so now we are getting a little bit wider sound. As you can hear. So it's something that you can do, you have to experiment, of course. Um, Chris, speaking of sidechains, is it possible to use an external sidechain? Not, not, not in this uh, version, not in this uh, in this model right now. I haven't tried that. I'm I I'm doubting that it will work because being a, um, a sort of feedback design, uh, an external sidechain will transform it in a feedforward design. So I don't know. Uh, we can try that. There is nothing that prevents us from doing from doing that. So. Um, we have to we have to see if it works. I have total EQ and I love it. Can you? Oh, so, okay, uh, Roy asks. I uh, have total EQ and I love it. Can you please add Q factor change via mouse wheel? Yes, yes, it's uh, it's on our uh, feature request. It works if you go with the mouse wheel on um, the Q slider, but not if you stay on the control dot. So this is something that is easily fixed and the next update will be will have it. So don't worry about that. Compensation and communication. Okay, Randy. Compensation 
communication works both VST and VST. Uh, well, no, the communication between instances uh, works uh, um, only on plugins of the same time, the same type. So between all the VST VST three instances and all the VST two instances, there are two different words because they use different uh, uh, memory spaces. Uh, so the, the common data is uh, written uh, in that space that is different between VST3 and VST2. So, uh, and the same goes for the unit and AX. So uh, you cannot mix uh, different type of plugins and expect it to work together like there were only just one kind, sorry. Um, the compensation you see here, is for the gain knob. So if I, for example, turn this off. Um, and if I increase the level, the gain doesn't change. This now makes no sense because I have turned off analog emulation. But if I turn it on, I get a nice distortion. I'm here. I'm driving it hard without having uh, the level increase. So it makes it even more useful as a saturator or saturation tool. Okay, Randy, if you have some specific issue, I can ask uh, you if you drop me a line or if you use a, a ticket because it's very hard to support right now on the line live. So uh, maybe you maybe there is some problem with the VS3 or the VSD, but uh, we can easily fix that um, once we know uh, what the problem is and which DO has it. So. Just, uh, just, just open your line, really. So, uh, if you don't have any other question, I can say goodbye. And of course, you will receive uh, uh, the thirty percent discount code tomorrow automatically by mail. So, yes, Randy, let let them through. If you have suggestion uh, and question, let them through. Feel free. Um, Using uh, email, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever. We are also on TikTok now. So whatever you prefer, um, I'm going to read them. So I'm I if if uh, if you write a ticket, I read it. I get notifications, even though I'm not in charge of uh, customer support as a first step. Um, I get notifications, so uh, I can answer that. And uh, if you write on our social network, it's me or Federica replying. So if it's a technical a technical question, I will reply to you. So uh, just really ju ju just ask. So uh, th thank you very much for being here, everyone. And I hope that you learn something new maybe, or you learn how the, the plugin works and how this kind of compressor works. So you can use it on the right kind of source and uh, uh, with more, um, more knowledge. So see you next time. I'm, I have recorded all this, so it will be available on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, so if you lost something, if you got here late, uh, for, you can watch it again from the beginning. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, have a nice rest of the day, wherever you are.